How much of the Dutch bank are the bankers that you have? Because you have had some exodus to, to Jeffries, to other places, uh, and you've remarked about it, actually. Yeah. Uh, what is the issue there? Why are you losing investment bankers? Are you losing the ones you want to lose? So first of all, we are losing a few investment bankers, but not that much more than what is normal annual turnover. I mean, this is the period in the first few months of the second quarter when people have been paid their bonuses and there's a little bit of musical chairs, as you know. Mm -hmm. It's a time-honored tradition in this industry. Uh, we made a management change in our investment bank. We spent a lot of time last year thinking about what we expected the banking landscape to be over the next decade. So what you've seen is rising interest rates, changing business models, the importance of sectors that are fairly new to the economy, not just technology, but sustainability, mobility, climate tech. And then there is just the different players and the importance of the players in the banking market. The private equity groups have been very large. Private credit funds are becoming bigger. They are slightly disintermediating what banks are doing. And we, as we began with a very American investment bank here in the US based from the Lehman acquisition of Barclays, and we've grown in Europe, we wanted to put more emphasis in Europe as well. So you bring it all together, and you're talking about us thinking about the next generation of leadership of the investment bank. Building on our strengths in debt capital markets, but growing in equities, growing in M&A, growing in Europe. And when you do that kind of organizational change, sometimes it has impacts. 